हेलो व्हाट्सअप एवरीबडी सो टुडे विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद आर न्यू लेसन ऑन मोलस का ऑन आर कोर्स ऑन एनिमल क्लासिफिकेशन एट इट्स प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी इफ्तार खान यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन अन अकेडमी डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट अन अकेडमी डॉट इन स्लैश यूज स्लैश इफ्तार खान फॉर मोर सो लेट्स डाइव राइट इन टू इट सो द मोलस्कन्स आर बेसिकली द सेकेंड मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल फाइला इन द एनिमल किंगडम सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीशीज एज सच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे वर डिस्कवर्ड बाई जॉनसन द रिगार्डिंग द हैबिटैट दे कैन आईदर हैव एन एक्वेटिक और टेरेस्टील हैबिटैट एज सच दे कंसिस्ट ऑफ द फास्टेस्ट द स्लोएस्ट द लार्जेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट अमंग द नॉन कॉर्डेट्स ऑर्गन सिस्टम लेवल ऑफ बॉडी डिफ्रेंसीशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज प्रजेंट एंड दे आर प्रोटोस्टोमिक इन नेचर दैट इज ब्लास्टोपोर कन्वर्ट्स टू स्टम टू माउथ राधर दैन एनस दिलोम इज ट्रू सिलोम इज प्रजेंट दैट इज काइजोस्कील टाइप दे आर ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक एंड दे हैव अ डिस्टिंक्ट सिविलाइजेशन that is a uh, cephalization that is uh, they have a distinct head present a uh, segmentation is absent as in contrast to the arthropod where it was very prominent and internal and external segmentation was present they have a bilateral symmetry except in the case of gastropoda in which uh, due to extra chromosomal inheritance the adult undergo a process called torsion in which uh, they thrust around their body axis to become asymmetrical then uh, we come that the body is uh, composed of a head a foot and a visceral hump so it's divided into a head a foot and a visceral hump uh, the visceral hump uh, has various organs in it like the hepatopancreas and the alimentary canal and the other visceral organs of like similar to our body as such uh they also have a outer fold of skin which is called uh, mantle and uh, they might also have an external or internal shell and the space between the mantle and the shell is called the mental mantle cavity which as we will read further it helps in gastric exchange so shell may or may not be present it may be internal it may be external so if it's present it's uh, formed of conchyolin protein and calcium carbonate so what and it's secreted by the mantle so calcium carbonate and mantle should be remembered when asked about the skull the shell so uh, they have a complete alimentary canal which has a mouth and an anus they are heterotrophic as well as holotrophic holo uh, trophic which means they uh, are not filter feeders they ingest whole food as such uh, they also have a rasping structure known as a radula which helps in a uh, detachment of algae from solid surface and it's present inside the mouth so help it helps in capturing the prey as such they also have a distinct organ hepatopancreas uh they have aerobic respiration and various organs of respiration are present they might have a feather gills or cetinedia uh mantle cavity also helps in uh, the gastric exchange and so does the moist skin in the case of terrestrial organisms the circulation they have an open circulatory system same as was the case with the arthropods and they have a dorsal heart in contrast to the chordates which have a ventral heart they have a respiratory pigment known as hemocyanin the excretory product can be ammonia uric acid or ammonia ammonia uh, amino acids and the organs of excretion are Keber's organ, the organ of Bojanus, and the Metanephridia. 
सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द लोको मोशन दे हैव अ मस्क्यूलर फुट टू हेल्प इन द लोको मोशन इन मोस्ट ऑफ दैम दे मे ऑल्सो हैव अ साइफन इन वाटर विच हेल्प्स वाई अ जेट प्रोपल्शन मेथड सो द साइफन थ्रोज अवे द थ्रोज अवे द वाटर एंड द ऑर्गेनिजम मूव इन द डायरेक्शन ऑपोजिट टू इट सो इट्स प्रेजेंट इन स्क्वेड uh in some organisms like the octopus the foot is modified into an arm the sensory system is also well developed they all they most of them have a developed eye osphoridium is the structure which helps in judging the chemical composition of water it helps in judging the chemical composition like what's present in the water then we have a statocyst which helps uh, which is a balancing organ helps in balancing then we have a nervous system which is consisting of cns and pns a uh, brain may be absent no nerve cord is present and has a different ganglia in cephal uh, known as the cephalic ganglia the visceral ganglia and the pedal ganglia so the reproduction uh, they are mostly uh, dioecious or unisexual some of them are oviparous uh, crossed and external fertilization is present and indirect development is present the larvae are trochophore veliger and glochidium which are ectoparasites on fishes now we'll come right into the classification uh they have a total of seven classes of which three are more prominent and more important as such one of them is a uh, pelecipoda or bivalvia why are these molluscan called as bivalves so basically a uh, bivalvia uh, comes the term bivalvia comes to the fact that the shell is made up of two valves so uh, and they have a characteristic of burrowing in mud and sand and the bodies are literally compressed uh most of them are edible and uh, then they are mussels clams and oysters uh then we have a uh, gastropoda which may be either aquatic or terrestrial and they have a spiral shell as we know the gastropoda undergoes torsion and the, they have a large and flat foot uh they have well developed head with tentacles and eyes so that's very important and to uh, visualize all this you need to know the examples snails uh, slugs and limpets the slug is the slowest non chordate as such which move then we have a uh, cephalopods uh they are mostly marine and they are adapted for swimming uh the foot is modified into uh, 8 to 10 uh, long tentacles in the head region that's why the term cephalopod cephalus means head and pod means foot so the head has the feet the shell may be internal or may be absent like in octopus it's absent so it's the case with loligo sepia is the cuttlefish so uh, these are uh, uh, these are the two examples the diagrams given in ncrt pila which is the apple snail and octopus which is also known as the devil fish so thanks guys thanks for hearing me uh, in this lesson uh, the next lesson will be kinodon mats with with which we'll be covering all the non chordates as such so thanks guys thank you